see everyone. Yes, it is that time. It is I. We're starting a new six-pack, and this week's theme, Alien Invasion, 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 Invasion. Yes, we're starting it off with Skyline. Yes, everyone, on the chopping block, we're cracking open that first can in our Alien Invasion six-pack with the recently released Skyline, starring nobody you know. <laughs> Just about. There's really no big names in this independent film, uh, brought to you by the Strauss brothers who directed it. And basically, according to the trailer, it's an alien invasion film on a massive scale with huge battles and wars going on across the world. At least that's what the trailer would make you think, that you're looking at for another Independence Day type of scope for a film. That's not what you get with Skyline. What you end up getting is more of a movie that has the feel of a ap zombie apocalypse film. I know, you have a group of people who are uh, passively involved in an alien invasion taking place on Earth. In we're, this perspective, in the city they're in, is in L.A., because, you know, everything happens in L.A. Well, they observe the goings-ons and the ships starting to come down and the aliens doing an attack, but we never go out there. We stay confined into the penthouse suite that these people are trapped in. And every time they try to escape said penthouse, really bad, nasty things happen to one or m many of them. Aliens uh, tend to rip out their brains, okay, and they get stuck back in their penthouse suite. Yet, this has such the feel of a zombie horror film more than a sci-fi film, I think it was completely uh, incorrectly marketed, and that's going to be its major downfall. I mean, from the pictures and everything that you see in the trailer, you're thinking Independence Day. You're thinking War of the Worlds scope. You're thinking huge, you know, big, huge. But you're not getting that. What you get is more people and dialogue contemplating how they're going to escape their situation and how to uh, deal with the fact that this alien invasion is coming and people are getting sucked up in the spaceships. Now, with the problem that it not telling which type of movie you want it to be, epic sci-fi battle or zombie, you know, apocalypse type or sci-fi apocalypse movie, uh, you know, that's where it's going to fall weak in the script. The concept was great. I did love the idea of it, and the aliens were cool. It was great seeing actual, true alien-looking aliens, especially in the ships. Uh, some of them kind of had a rip-off of Matrix. You can see there's an amalgamation of all kinds of different sci-fi creatures and, uh, you know, designs in here. These guys were affected by a lot of sci-fi movies, but it's more sci-fi horror than it is epic sci-fi invasion. So, I still had to give it three stubs on the board because I found it quite entertaining, but then again, I enjoy a zombie movie. So when it had more of a feel of a zombie apocalypse film rather than the cheesy, over-melodramatic, uh, you know, uh, apocalypse epic film, you know, where you get a huge cast of millions and all these things happening at different locations, that kind of appealed to me. I did like the idea and the concept of the aliens were good. Unfortunately, the script itself with the dialogue was weak and with the lack of explanation, of the aliens totally it may turn some people off okay i still gave it three stubs but uh it's not for everybody for your zombie guys out there and you horror zombie movie fans you may enjoy this movie a lot more than folks looking for a, just a regular straight sci-fi movie but it's because of the trailer i just can't stand today's trailers <laughs> yes folks modern day trailers Skyline is a perfect example. Today, they think people are completely stupid, okay? They think, one, they either have to completely make the movie feel like a, you know, a movie other than what it is, or they have to spell out the entire damn thing to you within the two minutes of the trailer. I, I had the privilege of going to the movie theater. They were doing a Midnight Madness thing where they were showing an hour of movie trailers, and it was free admission, buck popcorn, pup. Buck soda, how can a movie crazy guy like me pass that up, right? So I went with my friend, we watched it, and if you ever had a perfect example of the change in modern day trailers, just sit down and watch a bunch of trailers back to back. You get a perfect picture of how crapalicious they are nowadays. Folks, first take your romantic comedy trailer of today, okay, folks? They spell out the entire damn thing in that two minutes that they show you. You don't have to see the film. If you've seen a romantic comedy, because their plots are fairly cookie-cutter anyway, you can piece together the entire freaking film, okay? 
two minutes romantic comedy. Look at the two romantic comedy movies coming out with uh, Luke Wilson in it. You'll see what I mean, okay? Spell out the entire plot right there. Show you all the major plot points. Why do I even need to go see the movie? Another example, Faster. Faster is a movie that is totally marketing wrong because they're showing you pretty well. It's a story about a guy going out and killing people who killed his brother, and you almost see every single person he's going to kill, and the dialogue pretty well gives up any secrets that might be within this film, okay? Now, you take Sucker Punch, for example. Sucker Punch is a good trailer. That's a decent trailer. It gives you tits and bits of all the, uh, and literally tits and bits, of all the uh, things going on in the film, but not enough for you to piece together the movie. Of course, it's probably whacked out of the mind type of movie, but still, you can't piece together the whole plot. I want to go see that film because I have no idea what's going on. Or the other one, I Am 4. They give you a decent amount there, uh, but they not enough to give you the full plot, okay? But then you get this faster, you get these romantic comedies, or you get Skyline, which completely markets the movie differently than the other, just to get people sucked in, because if we make it look like Independence Day in the trailer, people will come. And we did. And then they get disappointed, and then your movie tanks. Okay, folks, go back to the 90s. The 90s had fantastic trailers. Look at the, most of the trailers for your 90s films. They were a hell of a lot better than the trailers of today. If you keep this up, I won't have to pay my 5 8 10 $25 for my 3D film. I'll just watch your trailer and go, wow, that was a pretty damn good movie for two minutes. And that'll about do it for us here at Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff moving.